So we don't share the data per se. It's, it's all very isolated and controlled. The Greater Toronto Airports Authority will soon be testing AI technology at Toronto Pearson in the ongoing hunt for concealed weapons passing through the terminal. That makes the airport the first in the world to trial this walk-through portal called Hexwave. This coming as airports gradually see increasing traffic with COVID restrictions easing. March 11th projected to be the busiest travel day at Pearson since the beginning of the pandemic. We're able to screen for all types of dangerous items concealed on the body, so metallic and non-metallic threats. And as people kind of walk through the portal, the system scans you in real time and uses artificial intelligence to identify if there is any type of dangerous item. Can you talk a little bit about how, how it works and how does the software kind of work? The Hexwave is built on radio frequency and software, the algorithms. At the same time, we're taking real-time 3D video rate imaging. So as you walk through the system, we're taking a reflection off the body using safe radio frequency waves. And the, uh, the AI, uh, how does that work? Does it kind of know what certain threats look like and it's comparing it to the data it receives from the machine? Is that how that works? That's, that's exactly right. And so we build up a database. We'll probably have about 60,000 plus images that we'll run through and we'll test and we'll train the system. And the AI is looking for that. In a written statement to City News, the airport telling us signage will be placed in relevant locations to inform passengers and employees of the Hexwave trial. And that, in terms of the process, the experience for travelers and employees will be seamless with no requirements to stop and remove keys, cell phones, or other items from pockets. The scanner will also not produce any revealing imagery of the body for the operator to see, nor is any radiation used in the scan. From an operator's perspective, you get a red light, green light. We really consider the different values that consumers have. Dr. Karina Vold is from U of T's Institute for the History and Philosophy of Science and Technology. She says there are always things to keep in mind when deploying new technologies in public spaces. Consumers, we want to be safe going to the airport, of course, um, but that's not our only uh, value, right? We do value privacy, uh, we do value fairness. Um, you know, we value dignity. Dr. Vold saying she hopes the technology has already had some testing in less demanding spaces and warns that data needs to be protected. All information that's being stored somewhere is susceptible to hacking or third party access um, if, if it's not encrypted properly. We don't store any of the images or any of the data that comes through. According to Liberty Defense, one machine can scan up to 750 passengers per hour. The test will involve a single machine being trialed at Pearson starting in the third quarter of this year. For City News, I'm David Zura.